The pirates holding a Saudi oil tanker and its crew off Somalia are now demanding $25 million in ransom. Somalia, which sits on one of the world's busiest shipping lanes, is virtually lawless and is a haven for terror groups like Al-Qaeda. Our senior foreign affairs correspondent Martha Raditz shows us how this region is the perfect playground for pirates. The Gulf of Aden is a long way from Hollywood. But the Somali pirates are as ruthless as their Hollywood counterparts. And they use some of the very same methods to get the gold. Or in the case of the recently seized Sirius Star, $100 million worth of oil. How do they do it? The pirates approach the big ships in two or three high-speed skiffs, with only about a half a dozen men on each. Once they get close to the ship, they throw lines up and over the stern, strap their rifles or rocket-propelled grenades over their backs, climb aboard, and head for the ship's bridge. It only takes one hostage to force the captain to surrender his ship. There are now 17 ships with hundreds of hostages being held by pirates in the Gulf, so why would a cargo crew allow a motley band of pirates to board a ship without defending themselves? There's one simple reason. There are no weapons on the ship. A survivor of a pirate attack and author of Dangerous Waters says there is a reason the crews on the cargo ships don't have weapons on board. These are civilians, but they don't expect to have to fend off pirates. And um, having been a victim of pirates myself, I can uh, tell you that uh, if you resist, um, you probably won't live to see the next day. But that may change. The shipping companies are now losing so much money, $30 million in ransom just this year and increased insurance costs. The next step may be private security companies. Think Blackwater, those Iraq-hardened ex-military men who would have no problem standing up to a band of pirates. Martha Raddatz, ABC News, Washington.